Alright, this video I want to demonstrate the usefulness of a baseball bat. Ended up buying this, you know, to practice with it. But it's also an amazing weapon, you know, for self-defense. And it doesn't cost much money. It's very lightweight, very effective for self-defense. But in the same token, it is actually um, something used for sports. It's used for baseball. So it's not necessarily considered a weapon. It's, it's considered a sporting equipment. But this is something that a lot of people, anybody can get access to it. Anybody can buy it. Even children can buy it. You can buy it anywhere because it's a sporting good equipment. But essentially, it is one of, the, one of the most dangerous weapons you could get out there. And you'll see how lethal this could be. People could have these in their cars. Um, people who are at the parks will have it. And if you ever engage in a confrontation with somebody at the park or, you know, people, there's baseball bats around, um, you, you got to be very careful because you could literally die with one hit with one of this. Um, this, is a, this is steel, or this is made of aluminum. It's very lightweight and solid. You know, if you get hit in the head just one time, pretty much dead. You know, so we compare this one to something like a baton. This is what the police carry. There's a baton right here. Easy to carry, it's concealable. So the difference is the baton is concealable, but the baseball bat's not concealable because it's big. But the baton is concealable. Once you bring out the baton, it becomes this length, but you notice that the baseball bat is still longer than the baton. So essentially the baseball bat is going to be a more effective weapon because it is longer. So if you look at me hitting this bob dummy with the baseball bat with just one hand, you'll see how powerful this, this baseball bat could be. If I use two hands, you see, I mean, it's very, very powerful, you know. Look at the baton difference. Okay, baseball bat has more range. Essentially, they're almost the same weight, but right here, you see, it is a very dangerous weapon, and you'll see, um, this is the stuff that you need to prepare for out there in the streets. You don't know if somebody's carrying one of these, and also one day, somebody might come at you with one of these weapons, and a part of your training if you don't prepare for that, then it could be devastating. So that's one of the main differences between like a real martial arts school. They will prepare for situations where somebody might have a bat. But in, you know, combat sport, they don't do that. You know, so this is something that you got to be really aware of because these weapons are out there. Okay. So I just wanted to make you guys aware. And, um... Take a look at these weapons.